What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Uh, now, today we're going to be going over my Adam Five Fingers of Death Extremely Fast Workflow Setup. If you guys uh, caught the video that I released earlier on my channel, I'm going to leave the link to the description, um, the link to the video in the description. I, I wanted to kind of separate the two because showing how to set up the template is a little bit it is a little bit more in depth and um i could kind of talk about why i personally used to like to use um sample one xt in my workflow as opposed to using um impact xt and so just if you guys haven't seen that video just go and watch it and, and watch me make a beat like a slapper in four and a half minutes i'm talking about fully arranged drums everything um so now that you're back here this workflow is is something that I've been using in Studio One since um, Studio One Two, and what I do is I take in I'll have a I have a drum bus set up, and I will use um I will use um Sample One X XT as my drum trigger for my buses, and the reason why I personally like it is I come from just a just a more linear approach to uh, to making tracks and the way that I kind of visualize things in my brain is is a one to one parody in in the mixer and I know that it's capable to to do this in impact I get that but I just like the way this works better on top of that you know if you switch up and down a pitch in impact you're just going to switch to another sample not another pitch which is not what we're going for I feel like for people who are you know coming over from other DAWs especially coming over from FL Studio, um, that could be considered to be a deal breaker. So to bring in that that speed, what I've done is I utilize um, the the new pattern mode and the new hardware and the atom to replicate that and make it even faster. So let's just let, let's just go through and see and and see what I do. So first, I I will take um, my kick track and just go ahead and go to setup and just create a pattern and then we can we can simply we can simply go down and create a pattern on each one of our drum tracks and we are making patterns not instrument tracks right and the big difference is that patterns operate like a step sequencer so then i'll go ahead and i will um you know i'll extend these out to uh, i'm working in double time so i'll so i'll run a a nine bar loop and when we double click on it to get that to, to get that signature type of fl studio uh, a, a step sequencer setup we will make the resolution eight and make the steps 32 and we'll go ahead and do that for all tracks so once you have this set up in place and each one of your each one of your patterns is now in a in a place where they're all the same the, the way that the way this the way that your stock pattern is going to is going to show up by the way um when you when you use sample 1 XT is is, is you're going to see it show up like this right so in order to get it to show up where you only see one note and it's that C3 note which is going to be the default um, the default sample that you're hearing from from your sample libraries, you will want to do this, right? So you're going to you're going to see you're going to see the piano roll. You want to go to this window right here and click drum mode. And then what what you're going to notice is you're going to notice that you'll be up at like, um, you know, up at up at C1. You're going to want to scroll down to C2. Then you're going to want to engage this button right here, which will which will allow you to fold only this only this note. Click the wrench one more time. And then once you've done that, all the new patterns that you make will only show the C3 note. And that's what makes this workflow super clean and super streamlined. So now if you have an existing template that you like to work with, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a big proponent of using templates. You can see how to do that on my on my uh, Studio One Tutorials channel on the landing page. I show how to create um, a template very similar to this, but I'm constantly updating my template. And what I'll do is I'll just go to file um, save as template, find a replace existing, and then it'll automatically take you to your template folder. I'll select one. And, um, the one that I'm using right now is called thanks Davey. 
and I will, you know, I'll update it and save this. And then once you open a brand new track, this um, this layout and this workflow will be done for you. So you don't have to go and create these patterns every time you do a track, which is, you know, which would be super annoying. Um, so you just kind of find the drum sounds that you like to start with. The, another reason why I choose to use this method is because the way that I have my drum samples set up, um, I save presets to as my favorite folders. So I'll have, I'll have different, um, different um different creators like um sound oracle or, or or my own custom samples and then i'll organize them by kit so i have all the different um uh types of drums kicks hi-hats or whatever and then inside there i'll have the different the different kits that i like and the thing that i like about the thing that i like about impact is just how or i'm sorry um sample one is just how easy it is to 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 go ahead and um scroll through different um, different sounds and audition different sounds within the context of the mix. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So since I have this this loop already pre set up for us, I can, you know, I can go ahead and play it. Go into setup, allow myself to go up and down my channels. Jump into editor. input my snares go ahead and put some rolls in Maybe drop an open hi-hat. Oh, don't like that kick. And then if you don't like the kick, you can just go and cruise through your samples. That sounds a little bit better for the vibe. Then, you know, our, our favorite part, we can go ahead with the 808 and just extract them to the chord track. If we wanted to do something, if we wanted to do something easy, 
like um just just using the uh following the kick we can go ahead and convert the pattern to a part and that that gives us that gives us the midi information drop this on c3 we got our follow chords on we're going to use the um we're going to use follow chords bass and then you see we we have the bass line here So yeah, it's as simple as that. It's a really easy template to set up. It's a really powerful um, workflow using Atom. Um, you know, this is especially especially for especially for people who aren't you know natural finger drummers. There's still um, a tremendous amount of of um, of workflow value that you can get from using the uh, Atom with Presona Studio One for, especially if you're, especially if you're a trap based producer, especially if you're a sample based producer, especially if you're a MIDI based um, drum designer. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, studio one tutorials.com. Keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we will see you on the next one.